sixth race, the Hayes Memorial for two-year-old pacing fillies, part of the Grand Circuit Series. Win, place, show, and exact wagering on this sixth race. Here are the starters. Number one, Beach Boys Lady, owned by John Allen of Pennsylvania, trained by Steve Waller. The driver is Mike Lachance. Number two is Cam Diaz, owned by Julie Miller of Beecher, trained by Urban Miller. Andy Miller will drive. Number three, Pan Hanover, owned by Bob Glazer's Peter Pan Stables, Incorporated of Pepper Pike, Ohio, trained by Ivan Sugg. John Campbell is up. Number four, Never in Paris, owned by Brian Penske Stable, Incorporated of Downers Grove, Illinois, and by Penske Stables of Plato, Minnesota, trained and driven by Brian Penske. And number five is Love Our Diamonds, owned by My Maid Stable of Lexington, Kentucky, trained by Stephen Waller. It is Luke Wallet who will drive. Again, Mike Lachance on number one, Luke Wallet on number five. Post time in three minutes. $35,000 on the line. The winner takes home half. The gate is rolling. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Pan Hanover is first away. Love Our Diamonds is there on the outside, and Beach Boys Lady gets away a close-up third and moves up into the second spot with a ground-saving trip around the first turn. But Pan Hanover wasted no time getting to the lead. Leads it by a length and a half. Beach Boys Lady goes second by the same margin. Cam Diaz is third. Never in Paris is racing in the fourth position as they move by the quarter-mile mark. And Love Our Diamonds is fifth and last and is rough-gated at the back of the field. Luke Willette trying to get her to settle down at the back, 29 and 4, leisurely opening panel for Pan Hanover. But why not? Nobody wants to challenge her, and she's on top by a length and a half. Campbell has a snug grip on her. Beach Boys Lady is racing second by a length and a half. Cam Diaz is traveling in third. Never in Paris is fourth, and Love Our Diamonds is at the back. So the odds-on favorite has intimidated the field so far. No one wants to come forward and challenge Pan Hanover, who takes the field by the half-mile mark. Beach Boys Lady is second. Cam Diaz is racing third. Then Never in Paris and Love Our Diamonds to half in a minute. Wow. A minute. Now they head to the final turn, and finally someone's up to challenge Pan Hanover. Cam Diaz is off the rail, but you know Pan Hanover should have plenty left in the tank after that first half. Pan Hanover leads it by a neck. Commend Cam Diaz for giving it a shot on the outside, right there alongside the leader in second, followed by Beach Boys Lady third by a half length, then Never in Paris is fourth, and a gap of four more lengths back to Love Our Diamonds. Three quarters, 128 and three fifths. Moving off the final turn, problems for Never in Paris, who has had an accident, but the horse is up on all four feet, and Brian Penske, the driver, is up as well. Coming to the final eighth mile, Pan Hanover leads it. Here comes a challenge from Beach Boys Lady to the outside. Cam Diaz is third. Pan Hanover leads by a length and a half. Beach Boys Lady second. Cam Diaz is third at the line. Pan Hanover wins it by a length. Beach Boys Lady second. Cam Diaz third in 155 and three. After reviewing the videotape of incidents on the far turn, stewards have ruled that Never in Paris simply fell. There was no other contact between her or any other filly in the race. She simply fell at the three-quarter while making a move on the outside. Well, in front of that incident and in the winner's circle now is the unofficial winner of the sixth race, the Hayes Memorial, number three, Pan Hanover, John Campbell with the winning drive. Jane Hayes Raider and Carol Hayes Hill and Carolyn Hayes making the presentation of the Hayes Memorial Trophy to trainer Ivan Sugg and driver John Campbell. Talk to Ivan Sugg is in the winner's circle right now, the trainer of Pan Hanover. 
Ivan, I did some checking in the record books. According to the records I found, this filly was a $150,000 yearling. We know she had a good pedigree, but I know also confirmation is important to you. What did you like about her? Well, I didn't really have anything to do with picking her out. Bob bought her on his own, and uh, he buys most of his horses on his own. But uh, he liked her, you know, because he was out of a great mare. Uh, I maybe followed her a little bit my first time I ever seen her because she was a little small. She still isn't very big, but uh, I know she was a top-selling arts place last year. And as they say, they don't write the size of the horse on the paycheck, and you've collected a nice paycheck. You and Bob Glazer's Peter Pan Stables. Congratulations, Ivan. Thank you. Ivan Sugg is our winning trainer, and by the way, you heard Ivan mention that this filly had a nice pedigree. Her second dam is the former Illinois Harness Horse of the Year, Panic Attack.